はかない思いずっと。Your writing style wouldn't make you a misogyny. Your. Oh boy, words. I chuckle. We've always had the same way of thinking. Yes, exactly! I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things. Oh yeah, that's our terrible poem. That's every. That's monkeys can fly. Or whatever. Why does that make me want to cry? Is it because I relate to her poem? That's probably it. Everybody here is so amazing. Yet, I'm so useless. Yeah, you should probably talk to Natsuki about your problems, because you seem to have the exact same problems. You sad sack. Monkeys can fly, tigers can jump, humans can try, but that's about it. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like when I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then it did fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in that last line. It's so elaborate, will I be able to say something like that about my poem? So you did. <laughs> It's hilarious because she's all jealous of this bad poem. She hasn't even seen it yet. She's just assuming it's good because Natsuki sounds like she has any idea what she's doing. She winks at him. Who was that? She doesn't wink. He ponders for a moment. Please come see me, please. Yuri. <laughs> I want to bite my hand. Why does he make me feel so weird? I, you might be saving the best for last. That's what I did. He happily hands Yuri his poem. She reads it eagerly. Oh yeah, Yuri's gonna talk shit about it. And Sarah's gonna get even more sad. She's intensely staring at it. It looks like she's not really impressed. I can tell by her expression. I feel sad for Ike. She'll teach him a lot about poems, though. Um... Oh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um... It's fine, don't force yourself. Don't force yourself. I'd love him to tell me that. Can't complain though. I'm the one who's hiding my true feelings. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay, this is your first time writing a poem, right? Here it comes. Er, yeah. Why do you- Wait, shouldn't you be trading with someone in the interim, Sayori? Shouldn't Monika or Natsuki have approached you in this time? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad. I can hear the disappointment in his voice. Yuri then realizes she may have sounded a bit too harsh. No! Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. She buries her face in her hands. Eggy looks a little hurt, but I think he's more concerned about Yuri than he is about his poem. Yuri generally isn't that shy, though. Does she... No, I don't want to think about that. It's fine, I really didn't notice. Yeah, why do they like him? Is that- I guess- no, wait, that's part of the point. I can't say why do they like him, because there's actually an explicit implication that that's just how it is with visual novels. That's part of the driving force of Doki Doki. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is they try to make their style very deliberate. MC power, exactly. Like, no, that's just how they work. I don't know, aren't there any visual novels where any... I guess there are some where they don't seem to like you, but they're sort of willing to converse with you more than realistically, and you warm up to them. I'm just thinking about Lily from Kitawa Shoujo. All I know is that she's the best one, and yes, that includes Hanako, who is basically Yuri but crispy. Yeah, no, this is, this is full MC power, this little loser right here, he sucks. It's impressive to see how she gets lost in her thoughts that easily when she's talking about something she loves. I wonder if I'd be able to do that. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example. And trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. I'm not doing my Yuri right. <laughs> Natsuki can be a bit biased, though. Son like her? She'd never pick on Natsuki like that. Is she trying to impress him? Biased? How? Um, uh, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I don't think Eki realizes she's talking to herself more than him. I glance at Monica. She's peacefully waiting next to him. Does she want him to show her his po- Aww, Monica, you bitch! No, I'm just paranoid. Monica wouldn't want to do that. 
She knows I'm close to him. She wouldn't do it on purpose. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. She looks so happy to share her poem. I'm pretty sure that she knows AK's gonna like it. But he wrote for Natsuki. And also, she, I think she's just happy to show people her poems. <laughs> Monica's so bad. The waste. He takes the moment, studies it very carefully. Oh yeah, fun fact, you can't go back in this. There is no returning. This is your life. I can see him struggling to read. <laughs> I'm sorry I have such- I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all, but it took you a long time to read. Yeah, because he's an idiot. <laughs> I actually think your handwriting is pretty. He'll compliment her no matter what. I'm not jealous or anything. If he's happy, I'm happy. No, that's not true at all. I clench my fist once again. I'm just lying to myself. This isn't even the right place to think about that. Eh? That's a really... Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, AK. Really? I must have totally missed the point. He looks dumber than I remember. Go figure. Now Yuri's the one that's embarrassed. Why does everything feel so awkward and slow? Well, I suppose you only did glance over it, but remember the post also supposed to so yeah, whatever. I've read all these before, we know the lines. I should try expressing myself like that. Not in a sad way, though. But I'm talentless. I can't write, I can't draw, I can't do anything. Looking at Yuri, she really is the perfect high school student. She's so talented! They usually do more and tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps I'm both symbolically lingering the last moments. Soon to be left with nothing. Well, Monica's standing right there, so this time it's Cyrus doing this on her own. These words resonate in my head. It hurts. I can't breathe. Help me. Help me, please. I'm shaking. Yuri's words. They scared me. What's happening to me? Where's the good mood I had when I first came into the club room? It's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Nikki gives Yuri a big smile and turns around. His gaze immediately going towards Monica. She waves at him. He waves back and walks towards her. He didn't even glance over at me. I feel like I'm invisible. It hurts. For a second, I'd swear I saw Monica looking at me. It was probably just my imagination, that bitch. <laughs> Hi, AK. Having a good time so far? Ah, uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like, no, no, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid, just, please, for the love of God, talk to me, I'm Monica. I find myself staring at him. I should stop doing that, I'm just being creepy. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Don't worry, we're all a little embarrassed today, you know? Indeed. Indeed is the least Sayori word I can imagine. Indeed. <laughs> Just picture Sayori with like a monocle and a teacup being sad. Indeed. <laughs> I know I will soon have to show him my poem. Will he hate it? Will he have the nerve to tell me it's bad? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. Without hesitation, he hands Monica his poem. She looks delighted to read it. <laughs> I like it, AK. Really? The more I see the other girls enjoying AK's poem, the more I want to read it. It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, see, look, there it is. That's the correct face. Why does he have red eyes as though he's a person? No, no. It kind of makes me think of something that Natsuki would write. I see Natsuki faintly smile at the back of the room. Why don't I feel happy for her? I'm such a bad friend. And she's a good writer, too. So, take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. God, with his face so plain, I feel like I shouldn't give him the robot voice. Aha, uh -huh, if you say so. By the way, any chance have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Shel Silverstein? I didn't know Monica was interested in his poems. How s secret smart is this version of Sayori? She's just like, Ah yes, I am familiar with the entire compendium of Parfait Girls. Oh yes, Shel Silverstein. 
a passing interest of mine. I am very smart. Here's me being sad instead of doing anything to capitalize on it. I'd love to join the conversation. I've read so many of his works. I can't bring myself to go towards them, though. Eh? His dumbass knows nothing of Shell Silverstein. Why do you even like him? If he's so much dumber than you, Sayori. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. Views of the world. I wonder if people see the world as I see it. Is my interpretation wrong? Or is it theirs? It's yours. It's super yours. No, I'm in the wrong here. All things that happen to me are real. <laughs> I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that. Sort of. <laughs> Only sort of! Maybe she's not an expert! But you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. She keeps saying Natsuki and Eki go well together. Why can't it be me? After all that pain, don't I deserve it? No, no, I don't deserve it at all. I'm such a burden to everyone. It's only right for him to go for anyone besides me. Especially Natsuki, for some reason. And she looks much happier now. I'm a bad person. I just want to silence my thoughts. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. I'm trying different things. People keep telling me this is how I build confidence. I'm disappointed with everything I try doing. The poem I wrote yesterday, I just want to burn everything I make. That's okay. <laughs> I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. Monica's words warm my heart a little. I feel like what she's saying is indirectly applying to me in a way. Why does my mood keep oscillating like that? She knows the word oscillating? I'm just weird. <laughs> like... This Sayori might be the smartest character in Doki Doki. I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> it's definitely not like that. Feel up. <laughs> Did Monica guess his intentions? <laughs> Is she just a toxic person? Because she seems to be attacking even the MC Avatar. Like, she's just a monster. She'll destroy everything that comes near her. Monica plays life the way I play Smash Bros. He wants to impress her, I'm sure of that. Uh, anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. Is she lying to make him feel better? It's nice, but it's a bad move. I'm one to talk. Why do I keep picking on everyone? They're my friends, I love them. Just as much as... <sighs> my mind is so noisy. You sound pretty confident for some reason. That's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Does Monica really feel that way? I guess there's no so much more to uncover under each and every one of us. I see. Well, let's read it then. He takes Monica's poem and reads it. There's a big smile on his face. Isn't that great? Why would anyone show me? So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform. Yeah, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Anyway, if I, what if I tried performing it out loud? Would it sound better? My poem is as fake as I am, though. What would the point be in performing with it? I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I have some kind of epiphany recently. Alright, so she has only just now learned that she is a Doki Doki. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Would she really be willing to open up to him? What if I did? I already know what had happened. He'd start hating me. You should be thankful for being alive. Other people have it worse. Just thinking about it makes me want to cry. Of course he'd say something like that. That doesn't even seem like the type of thing he'd say. Well, maybe he is an asshole to her. He's a complete asshole to Sayori. 